Hello guys, welcome again. This is Rajan. I hope you are doing great. So in this video, I'm going to talk about a very important swing trade which I took recently. Uh, the stock name is Pix Transmission and uh, I invested around 5 lakhs and I made a profit of around 45,000 which is roughly around 8% ROI. So let me explain you the reason behind this trade. Uh, before that, please make sure to like this video and also comment if you have any doubts. Uh, please subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed yet. hello friends so this is the pix transmission chart in daily time frame and uh, you can see that uh, my entry has been 807 in this candle uh, 807 and uh, my end, uh, exit is uh, somewhere around 876 uh, i'll just put the screenshot here so that you will know the exit so now you may ask me there is no pattern there is nothing i mean there is not even a data and why you would go long here in the red candle and uh, you know exit with eight percent profit this is nsc chart and if you look at the uh, nsc chart uh, you may not find any data uh, that is why you have to whenever you come across a chart which has no data you have to switch that into bsc okay so 21 days ago i put, uh, came across this stock in bsc i found this wonderful uh, pattern uh, in pix transmission in bsc chart and i posted that in our community and uh, i think now you should uh, get a fair idea as to why i went long right so this is one of the key important uh, takeaway from this video whenever you come across uh, a bsc uh, sorry nsc chart with no data make sure to uh, check if there has been a data in bsc okay some uh, you know stock could be an ipo that is why i mean recently uh, became a public company uh, that could be the reason why there is no data but sometimes uh, the old stock which is already there in bsc gets listed uh, in nsc where you know uh, one month back or two months back something like that so in that case you should uh, you know just double check that to see if there is a bsc chart uh, it was a very simple uh, trade guys my so when i was taking this trade i would uh, be uh, i think this is the candle sorry let me check again 807 so yeah this is the candle so uh, my plan was to keep a very minimal stop loss of around three to four percent um, because uh, when i was taking up this trade um the market weren't that great i mean now the for the past two weeks it is good but before two weeks it wasn't that great so um although it has taken a very good support um i wanted to keep a very sm a small stop loss and also uh, decided that i'm going to exit this trade once i hit eight percent okay so that was my understanding and i invested around five lakhs and my profit is around forty five thousand. i guess um so uh, again you can refer the screenshot so my entry was uh during the red candle and uh, i think i i referenced the bsc chart and i took entry in nse so i think i just re i'm just realizing that when i'm recording this uh, so because uh, the candle is quite little bit different okay so that is why um so more or less it will be the same guys for bsc and nse there could be a small difference so i just found it so i thought i just took the trade in nse so uh, this is the um, risk reward ratio i think two is one is to 2.5 or something like that um, that was my you know risk reward ratio in this trade and i'm pretty happy with it if you ask me why i closed it very soon it's because of the obvious market condition uh, i do not want to hold it for a very long time um, in the market conditions like this um, you just have to quickly e enter and exit so when the market gets better definitely i will hold it for some more time or if the setup suggests me that okay this breakout will definitely sustain or you know there has to be some reason behind uh, 
uh, you know a setup for me to convince that uh, okay let me hold this trade or something like that so um this is a very simple trade guys i did post it in my community and uh, uh, if you want to be a part of it uh, please please go and check my website just for traders.in and uh, pretty much a very simple trade guys because if you look at this one two three four five six seven eight i mean almost eight times it has taken a support on this trend line and there has to be some sort of bounce from this trend line right it is an obvious fact so uh, if you look at this there has been a dip probably you know this is kind of a manipulation so um yeah this is again an added advantage when you enter after you know there has been a mul manipulation right so it's it is unlikely that it will go below this so if you wanted to take more risk you can enter here and put your stop loss below this because the probability is higher uh, it takes a lot of volumes to break this uh, candle so yeah it's a very uh, simple trade the hard work see the execution part is very simple the holding part is very simple uh, for this trade i'm saying because i did not allocate a large capital uh, but the homework behind this like i don't even remember the time i set this alert uh, on my on this chart and trading view so probably some months back probably when the stock was uh, you know here or here i don't know I don't, I don't even remember when i put alert on this and uh, uh, when it touched uh, this area i don't, I don't remember much uh, either this area or this area when i touched it i got alerted and i was patiently waiting for the entry okay so when i took an entry i posted it okay so uh, let's look at a different chart look at this uh, mcdowells this is just an example of uh, uh you know you can still trade no matter how bad the market condition if you select the right stock and if you enter at the right area you can definitely make money this is uh, mcdowell's united spirits uh where did we push this um, before the breakout okay yeah somewhere around here uh look at this a very good move so what you can do you can either wait for this breakout or probably you can enter in this hammer candle and put your stop loss below this ca hammer candle or if you came across this pattern and you see a candle like this you can definitely enter right away i know that you will not have the psychology to enter because the stock has been falling but uh, this is probability we are here for probability so even if there is a small stop loss it that is completely fine make sure you trade a similar setup like this again and again and the, the odds are with you okay it's not against you so yeah this um, uh, i mean i wanted to say that uh, there is there is always opportunities um, be it in cash market swing trading or options or everywhere all you have to do is do the due work i mean you have to go through a lot of stocks you have to be very patient um you know just because some people they you know do a lot of work and they desperately want to take a trade just because they worked a lot no you can work a lot and still you should sit idle that's how the game is the game is to be patient wait for the right moment and then take up the trade so yeah i hope uh, you learn something from this because uh, these uh, the things that i teach you is not available in any books these are from my own experience you know after trading for 5 years yeah guys it's been more than 5 years actually so i just realized that uh so yeah um, see you soon with another video let me know if you want another video with cash market um side by side i'm also doing a lot of option trades uh i have not allocated a lot as much as cash trades but uh it is interesting for sure and uh, let me know if you want uh, cash market trades or option trades so yeah because that that would be a good learning curve and if you want to be a uh, you know part of our community uh, jft community please visit justfortraders.in thank you so much for watching this video with patience see you soon again